Aiden, it's such a wonderful day. Let's dispense with all this dreary philosophizing, shall we? <laughs> okay. I see you brought back the adventures of Huckleberry Finn. Tell me, Aiden. As a pilgrim, are you an adventurer like Huckleberry Finn? Every day out there was an adventure, I can tell you that. Not always a pleasant one, though. There was plenty of unpleasantness in Huckleberry Finn. In that case, call me Huck. And I'll be your Mary Jane. Tell me, Aiden. Do you have a thing for older women like Huck did? Excuse me? Never mind. I am just glad you've retained your sense of humor in the face of this world's darkness. And don't ever think I take for granted the danger you surely encounter every day. Mm, the danger's out there, Thalia. Here with you. No reason not to relax. That's how I feel when you're around, Aiden. Thank you for that. I'll anxiously await your return. Before you go.
very like it. When you walk through the door with more books. Let me see. Let me see. Hardly. Franz Kafka might have thrived in our city. He wrote tales that blended realism and fantasy, creating surreal environments and scenarios. Doesn't that sound familiar? <laughs> the metamorphosis was all about a hideous transformation. Yes, he might have provided some brilliant insight into our current situation. Yes, you have preserved poetry. That's just what the city needs. Particularly the work of Pindar and his victory odes. They celebrate the triumphs of ancient athletes. And what is life today but a contest simply to survive? He was a firm believer in what man can achieve by the grace of the gods. Gods or no, I share his faith. I spoke about faith when we first met. Not only was that faith justified, you've now given me hope.